Hey, hey, what's going on guys? Texas Triple Tapper here, uh, bringing you guys another scope review. Um, I picked up a scope a few days ago from Amazon, and I was a little hesitant at first. Um, we, the price wasn't wasn't that much. It was only about 90 bucks. Um, and I had never heard of this brand. It's called AOTOP. And it's like a three-in-one uh, kind of multifunctional scope and so I, I kind of wanted to check it out and see if you know it, it, it had um, any real substance to it um, like I said the price was the price was good um, but you know like I said having not ever used one of these before I was a little little bit hesitant so I've already got the scope mounted on, on one of my weapons but I just want to kind of show you guys um, what kind of came in the box you know of course you get the the uh, lens covers here which actually uh, a piece came cracked so I need to let Amazon know you get a nice little lens cloth some reading material and a nice little nice little thank you card and it did come with all of the batteries that I needed uh, it came with three batteries and um, it also came with the little multi-tools to um, go ahead and attach everything. So this is the scope and um, the uh, slide is racked to the rear. There's no round in the chamber and it is on safe so we're, so we're good to go. So as you can kind of see there is, this is like a little a little red dot type scope there is this is just a regular scope it is uh, 4 to 12 by 50 and then here on the side this is a little um, it, it lets loose an external laser beam you see the green just over my shoulder there um, so that's that's what you get um, I have not shot with this scope yet but just looking through the optic I mean it's it's pretty nice I've aimed it out my backyard don't tell my neighbors there's nobody behind me there's just some old abandoned buildings and of course gun wasn't loaded so um, aimed it out my backyard and you know to a couple hundred yards I mean this has got it's got good clarity on it as I said 4 to 12 by 50 um, the reticle, uh, you can illuminate it in both red and green, so it, it, it lights up very nicely. You can even adjust the, uh, the intensity of the reticle. So if you're shooting in a, a low light situation, but maybe it's not you know, super low light, you can again adjust the intensity of the reticle. You've got your windage and elevation on it here. And also with this guy here, this, this red dot, this one will show up in uh, red and green. And also you can change the type of reticle that you're looking at. It's got like a star pattern. It's got the traditional crosshairs. It's got a circle like a bullseye. And then it's got just a little dot. And again, all of those are in, in red and green. Um, so this thing is really, really... Um, multi-platform you can do a lot of a lot of neat things with it um, I weighed it and it comes in uh, a little over two pounds with everything on it here this piece here will come off this is mounted on a Picatinny rail and what was neat too the scope itself uh, this entire contraption came mounted on this piece right here so you don't actually have to set the scope and scope in scope rings and then level it it's already level and you just put it on the picatinny rail on your rifle and you're you're good to go i also believe that you can probably take this piece off up here um, there's little screws on the other side here little hex screws here and here so i believe this piece will come off too if you wanted it to so again, this thing has uh, a lot of different uses for it. Um, what I found really, really cool about it was A, it's not particularly heavy, and B, like I said, this little piece will come off here. I shine this out 
uh, my my back door not too long ago, and this 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 light will go. You can see it visible easy for a few hundred yards, um, and I believe also you can change this to. Uh, well, actually, no, this one I don't think you can change to red and green, but there it's really easy to dial in. Um, it's got, of course, the, like I said, the windage and elevation on it. You can um, change everything on, on each and every scope uh, that, that comes with it. So um, the only thing that was kind of different was when I'm holding it like this. And normally, if I'm looking through a red dot, the red dot's going to be much lower. So if I've got my, my cheek to the rifle, um, if I keep, you know, both eyes open... I can just barely get a bead on this uh, this top red dot without having to look up too much. Um, otherwise, you know, it's it's a little bit more difficult to see, especially when you start to look down when you're as you're looking through like your scope. But if you just you know carry the rifle up with that red dot, it's really easy to engage your target with with both eyes open, and that's something that. You know, I personally have been working on uh, whenever I'm shooting is to look through my 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 binocular vision, um, just because that's the way that we are made to see is is by is binocularly, um, not with just one eye. But you know, if you've got the rifle set out, you know I can look through it comfortably right now and in, and focus in on that. Uh, right now, I've got it at a green dot and I can see it really really well and again as I said I haven't sighted it in or anything but um, you know I don't I don't think it would be uh, an issue so I mean all in all this is this is a pretty pretty nice little scope I mean for just under a hundred bucks with shipping I have like I said I have Amazon I have Amazon Prime so um, all in all, really, really happy with this. Um, you know, again, it is an off-brand. Um, they do offer, I believe, it's a 12-month warranty. Um, now, as far as how this would stand up to, you know, a very rugged environment, I'm not 100% sure. But they do claim that the lenses are, are multi-coated to resist fog and fingerprints and um, dirt and all that kind of stuff. So. Um, I'm not a hunter, so, you know, I don't get too hung up on those kind of things, even on some of my higher-end scopes, um, you know, like my, my Vortex, uh, Razor, those things, you know, uh, Steiner, they're made to, you know, <laughs> withstand a nuclear holocaust, but, you know, like I said, I don't hunt, um, I don't go out in those kind of situations much, so it's basically just plinking away at the range and yeah you know I'm in Texas the patron state of shooting stuff and our weather can change on a dime so it is nice to know that that, that they built this with with that in mind so um, just wanted to kind of give a, a quick overview of of this scope this uh, kind of three-in-one uh, deal um, so far first impressions are I really really like it and for the price um, you, you really can't complain too much and I know too um, one last thing I want to mention when I when I zoomed out all the way to the 12 time magnification when I was looking out um, I could see really really clear um, I didn't notice a difference in clarity at all now whether or not this is a first focal plane or um, you know uh, scope I'm not a hundred percent sure I, I imagine it's um, probably not an FFP but I mean, like I said, it's a it's a nice nice little scope. So, and I think too, um, for all intents and purposes, I think this would be really applicable for probably out to four or five hundred yards, you know, six at the most. So, um, you know, I think this would would fit nicely on on an AR uh, type rifle, or even even if you are hunting, but just you know, I, I I don't know that this would be a scope where you can get out to a mile or you know anything like that but I mean again I don't typically shoot that far um, so it's just mostly you know between two and four hundred yards is kind of what I'm what I'm shooting at so once I get her out to the range and uh, you know get her dialed in I'll let you guys know what I think on that but so far so good until next time Texas Triple Tapper 
out.